It was a busy morning on Main Street, a good opportunity to speak to the public. Carol Neal was visiting The Rock in her capacity as chair of the Ombudsman Association's first contact interest group. It sets out to um, share learning um, across Ombudsman's offices um, on first contact um, and how we deliver services, make our services um, accessible to members of the public um, who, who use um, Ombudsman services. The whole object of us being, being here is to meet the public in, uh, in a different way that we do in our office. What uh, sort of feedback have you been getting today? Well, up to now, it's been good. It's been a positive thing. Honestly, I cannot say otherwise. The, the local office here in Gibraltar is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's very unique in that it's a local office for local people. Um, based here, right in, in the centre of Gibraltar, people can pop into the office um, and meet with a, a member of staff. Um, and that's, you know, that's what happens. People pop in and they, they manage to resolve um, complaints um, and concerns um, over the desk. Um, which is you know, quite unique because it is a local office and um, so it's a really great service. What we do is we manage people's expect expectations. We tell them what the service provider can and cannot and cannot do. And it is within that, that um, scope right, that we uh, investigate uh, whatever grievance is brought, is brought to us. And it's great to be here today. Um, you know, this is first contact in its um, closest form. Um, launching the annual report and actually handing out the report and speaking to people um, about the services of the Ombudsman that might not have known. And very, very importantly, we explain that where, wherever there is a right, and we do have rights, there's also a correspondence responsibility. Many um, other ombudsman's offices may cover you know, the whole of the UK, um, so they um, provide an accessible service on the telephone. Um, for instance, our office in Scotland, we have a free phone telephone number that people can access us on, um, but most people tend to drop into the Gibraltar ombudsman's office, um, and there's a great team there to welcome them and help them with their complaints. Again, if we look at the report that you're giving out today, um, we see that housing tops the list of complaints. Mm. Can you tell us why you think that is? Well, I, be, I believe I am of the firm opinion that uh, housing is the biggest social problem that we have here in Jib. Uh, and it is obvious, no, it's because of size. Uh, housing, there has never been enough uh, offer to meet the demand. Um, housing, we are subject to waiting lists and that is where the main complaints come from. Everybody wants to make sure that they go up in the, in the waiting list. Our answer to, to that is we will ensure that you are where you have to, to, to be. You are not higher or, or lower and that is what we look at. Having said that, I have to emphasize that complaints about housing have, since the day that we opened, have topped the list. But it, this is not an indictment on the, the housing de department at all. It's just the, the environment in which we, we are and we operate and there's more demand than, than offer. How does this year compare to other years? Well, I think that there has been a marked improvement, to be, to be honest. Uh, in this annual re report, you will find that there's only one, one investigation about housing. We have managed to balance it with others. The Ombudsman's Report. The Ombudsman's Report is available online. The service provided by his office is free. The customer is the most important person within the, the, the office. So we are here to provide a service and it is free. Thank you.